What's up guys? This is Grackle from Grackle's Tech Nest. Today we're on the Liberty of the Seas and we're going to test the internet speeds. Let's go check it out. So they offer two different packages. There's a Just Surf package that's a bit slower at $12.99 a device and a Voom Surf and Stream package that's a bit faster at $17.99 per device. Keep in mind, that's per device per day. The Wi-Fi code does transfer between devices though, but only one person can be using it at a time. Before we left, I tested the Wi-Fi on my phone at home. We have fiber internet through Grande Communications, and I was getting just under 100 megabits a second down with a ping of about 26, which is pretty much maxing out my phone bandwidth. That's definitely fast enough for you to stream music, FaceTime, watch Netflix, and even play Fortnite on your phone. While on the cruise, we waited until we were out at sea and walked around the ship to test the Wi-Fi in different areas, and here are the results. Now, Royal Caribbean claims this is the fastest internet at sea, and I'm hoping they mean on a cruise ship, because this was the best result we got at 3.71 down. This is not enough to video chat via Facebook Messenger, but we could voice chat and stream Netflix. Definitely don't attempt to play Fortnite with a ping of 242. Oof. The worst result, though, was on the pool deck at 147. But let's be real, you should probably be enjoying the beautiful view or even the hot tub if you're out on deck. Overall, if you feel like you can't go a week without being able to talk to someone, stream videos, or check your emails, you could get the Voom Surf and Stream and get by. But thanks for watching. Comment, let us know what you think. Follow us on Instagram at Grackles Tech Nest and subscribe to the Tech Nest today.